It is the riot on Radio U. Nikki and I are very, very excited. Oh, super excited to talk to Jane. You guys know her as Nightbird. Uh, she joins us this morning on Radio U. Hello, Jane. So, Good morning. Good morning. Where are you right now? I see a flag in the background. That's all I can get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Long Beach, California. I moved here at the beginning of the year. I've had a journey this year. I okay. kind of went through cancer again, all the way down to almost dying, and now here I am, fully alive. Wow. Jane that's... is an, an Ooh, right, absolute right miracle. Here. Right here. Right I mean, here. I know <laughs> we, we probably can't get as deep into it, but I would suggest a trip back through uh, Jane for Nightbird for social media. We Even with your announcement of being cancer-free, literally just a miracle with um, your treatment and stuff and just seeing you come alive again. It's awesome. Yeah, so, it's been it's been totally nuts. Yeah. So why, like, why California? What sent you out there? Well, uh, I got diagnosed on New Year's Eve with uh, innumerable tumors throughout five different systems in my body. And the doctor's conventional medicine kind of said, we can't do anything for you. Um, we might be able to extend your life a couple years, but you will be sick for the rest of your life and die of cancer. And I said, mm, no, thank you. So then I came to meet with a doctor out in California that does different types of treatment, and I thought, let's try it. Sure. And it obviously worked. Awesome. Well, yeah. I want to say congratulations. I will tell you that Nikki and I both got super so excited, excited when we saw your cancer-free <laughs> yes. announcement we so on excited. Facebook. So. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. So you're cancer free now and I want to talk music, but I, how's life in Long Beach? Are you just like, I'm just going to stay here? Can you ever leave California then? I really don't think so. I had, I have no idea how people live far from the ocean and <laughs> people are so chill here, dude. It's really, it's just like, yes, people are so chill and it's I like amazing. The sound but of that. I am here for the foreseeable future. Mm. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So uh, in the middle of all of this, you know, you're on this cancer journey. You go from being incredibly sick to feeling a whole lot better. And how did you end up saying it's time to do music again? Mm -hmm. Well, I think when you come to a place where you're like threatened with the end of your life, you think about what's really important to you. And music is something that has always been my number one way of communicating to the world. And during the time when I was really, really sick, I started writing the songs that I needed to hear. And It's Okay is the summer anthem that I needed. I needed some joy and some hope and somebody to tell me that it's okay. And so I wrote it for myself and now it's for everyone else too. So awesome. for Nightbird fans, that was the big surprise announcement that in just a couple of minutes and starting today, the new song, It's Okay, is available for you to hear. Starting, That's actually the flag behind her, It's Okay. So that's the, the song flag that's there. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. So did you make your own flag or do you bring in flag making experts for something like a that? Good question. <laughs> I have elves. <laughs> flag helpers, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So, I mean, in fairness, Nikki, if you had to make a flag, would you know how? Uh, no, but I think we have a flag store that's near paper. us. I'd probably go there and just ask them. <laughs> okay. That's fair. Uh, we would delegate it, probably. <laughs> that's fair. So, you're going to be in California. You've got new music. Is there anything else that to uh, our audience and to your fans that you kind of want to get out there? Uh, I think I, I'm... I just want to let everybody know that if you're going through a hard time and really it doesn't look like there's any reason for you to hope, hope anyway, and mm -hmm. pull up that little rebellious kid inside of you that says no and hope anyway. That's the like message that I want to put out there. I like that. Aww. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, we're so thankful to, I mean, uh, Nightbird's music with Girl in a Bubble, obviously. Everybody truly loved that song. But uh, as we all followed your journey, uh, a lot of people praying for you and always will be. But we were so thankful, again, when the cancer-free announcement came out. That was the highlight during everything else that's going on. And that was the highlight of the summer for us to hear. Thank you guys so much. That was such a huge moment for a lot of people. And it was so cool to watch that to watch that video blow up with all of the with all the response from people who had carried me through that whole journey.
Yeah, right on. Well, we're we were and continue to be excited, and we did. I know Nikki and I both we spent both a lot of time. We messaged each other and yeah. shared it. We're like, Yay! We did. We did. Uh, we, and now we get new music too. Yeah, we had very much been praying for you, so we're so excited mm-hmm. to hear new music and to get to see you. And man, I hope that you enjoy the beach every freaking day. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right. Enjoy being so chill, and it just sounds like a the perfect spot where you you should be at. So that's awesome. awesome. So Nikki, why don't you break it down for us again? What's the song that we're about to hear? It's okay. So Jane Nightbird just released this, and this is your first time hearing it on Radio U, and you can now request it. All right, new Nightbird. It's okay. Thank you, Jane, for joining us. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hang tight. It is the riot.